Good morning and welcome to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. And if you're away on holiday, you're having a good time or if you're looking forward to your holidays um, or if you've been on your holidays, you've had a great time. We're coming to the end of our stay in Loo here in Cornwall. We've had a good week despite the weather. We've kind of done what we can do and make the most of it. What I wanted to do though was give you a vlog on the Camper Grande 390. Now I have done a previous vlog on that and I'll put a link to that below that shows us putting it up and taking it down and that sort of thing what i haven't done though is i haven't had the awning up with both the left hand and the right hand extensions this is the first time we've done this um, so i thought it'd be useful at least to do a vlog with both extensions on and um, give you our experience our, our thoughts and give you a bit of a tour around inside the awning as i've mentioned the weather's not been great it has rained quite heavily a few times particularly in the evening and I've got to be honest with you, we've had zero leaks, um, absolutely no problems with leaks. We've had a very slight bit of condensation on the um, ceiling on the inside, but only very, very minor, not enough to allow it to sort of drip and drop. We have been using the lining, the ceiling lining or the ceiling liner. Um, maybe that's helped. There was some plastic sheets that we could use to put down underneath. We haven't used those purely because we're on grass and we've been on grass for 12 days. So what I didn't want to do was put those sh plastic sheets down, non-breathable sheets and uh, ruin the grass. So we have just been using the breathable carpets. So, but we've been really happy with it so far. So let me go round and show you some of the features. So this section from here over to here is the standard camper 390 awning. Um, I don't know whether you could see that last bit, but basically from there to there is the standard camper Grande 390. It is the all season, so it's the darker grey material, it's the heavier material designed to be left up um, certainly throughout the season and can be used uh, in warmer climates. That sort of stuff helps keep the heat down uh, and withstands longer to UV protection. What the all season doesn't have is the sunlights or the sun windows. If you've probably seen those just about here, triangle windows on the standard air version that basically has those windows but so that's the main awning now this is the 2020 model so what you can do with the 2020 model is you can zip back your um your awning fronts to give you some air so you can have air passing through we fitted the mesh panels and i'll show you those from the inside um, so you can drop that down, fold it down, let some air in, or you can wind it all the way, unzip it all the way back and fold it all the way back so that you can use it as an entrance. You can take it off uh, and wind it back, use it as an entrance. Now, I believe the 2021 model, you can unzip these totally, so unzip them all the way. So let's just zip that back up. You'll have to excuse the fairy lights that we fitted. So that's that. Like all camper awnings, it's single inflation points. So you've got your inflation point there, but you do have a valve at the end of each beam to let it out. So single inflation point for the center and then a single inflation point for the extensions. Now, the extensions are freestanding. You actually don't need to fit those into the awning rail. The only part of the awning that's fitted into the awning rail is the actual 390 section itself. So what the extensions do, the extensions actually zip on. I don't know whether you can see that here. So the extensions zip on all the way from the bottom, all the way over the top and right the way over. And then you have this handy flap, which basically comes back that way. I've got the storm straps on at the moment as well. And if I bring the camera around here a little bit, you can probably see this a little bit better. Um, so again, there's your single inflation point for the extension and a valve. So basically you've got a beam that runs across there and then a beam that runs across here and then a beam that runs at the back and then it's zipped in in the middle. So again, like with the others, you've got your door which can be basically zipped all the way back and you can basically fold that door back and roll the door all the way back. You can actually take the door off altogether. So the door can be unzipped altogether. So you can just have this up without actually having uh, a front on. So you could have it like a, a, a porch awning or that sort of thing. So zip that back down. 
So what you have on the extensions is you have this, uh, this window, but the window can be unzipped like so. And then literally just rolled all the way up. You can roll that all the way up, probably not the neatest bit of rolling. But you can roll that up and just lock it in place like so. So we can roll that up there. Now you have got this mesh panel there. This mesh panel is built in though. This mesh panel isn't removable on the extensions. It is kept there. So we'll just drop that down again, just to show how easy that is. So just a little Velcro bit, just to tuck in the end there just to keep that closed off. So that's one extension. The other extension is very much the same, but we'll give you a little bit of a sort of walk round of the awning. As you can see, it's a rather large awning. Overall, it's approximately eight meters from one end to the other end. I think probably a little bit less, but with your guy ropes out. So you've got 390 in the middle, and then each extension is 1.8 meters. So you've got another 36 plus 39, and then the length of your guy ropes. The right hand extension is exactly the same as the left hand extension. So what I'll do is I'll just take you inside the extension and then you can see some of the features. So let's just head inside. So if I can just show you at the back here. This panel here is actually the freestanding panel um, on the back there. And depending on how you position the awning on the caravan, if you move it further forward, this can actually be used as a door as well. You can unzip it from the bottom, unzip it all the way around and actually use it from a door. Um, it also has this panel, obviously if you're covering over one of your caravan windows and you want to keep some light in there, what you can do, or if you don't want to keep some light and you want to block it up, you can zip the panel away like so and have that zipped away. But we like to keep it open just to allow a bit of light into the caravan. We'll just do that back up again. Now, if I just bring the camera around here a little bit, when you connect the 390 to the um, extension, it actually does Velcro on. So basically there's a Velcro strip that runs all the way up there, which connects it and the zip, I don't know whether you can see that, Let's try and tilt you up there. You probably can't see that very well, but the zip basically runs all the way along and kind of all the way down. So I don't know how well you can see these. These are the optional mesh panels, uh, which basically there's another zipper inside. So zip all the way in, all the way round. You can have those in. You don't have to have them in at all. You can take them out and you can use those as um, as an extra, as an added extra. So you could actually just zip your front panel out all the way, roll it back, or at least just sort of drop it down. So you can have that open and you can walk in and out, or you can just have it as a sort of veranda window where you drop it down and let some of the fresh air in. Now these panels from here to here uh, would be the normal 390 panels that would be sort of zipped in. Um, sorry, the, the end panels for each end that will be zipped in. Now, you don't have to leave these in. Um, basically, you can zip it all the way up and close off your different areas on your awning, that sort of stuff. So you can zip that in, have that door in, or you can unzip it all the way. 
We actually like to keep it in place, although wound back like like this, just to keep a bit of separation. But if you took this end out or and the other end out or just one of the ends out, that would give you probably the feel of a larger sort of open space. The way we like to do it is we kind of have an entrance area. So we walk in, we come in through the entrance area. Then we have the sort of main living area and then the area at the top, which I'll give you a bit more of a tour around is a storage area. Um, the other thing you can probably see here we have fitted is the roof lining. Um, I think it helps just to sort of finish the awning off nicely. If I put the camera back here, you could probably get a better view of the roof lining. Let's just adjust this. So here's a better view of the roof lining. So it does stretch for the full length of the 390. You can't, or you can't as yet, get a roof lining for the extensions, which is a shame. It'd be nice to finish those off as well, but the roof lining here. You can also... Now you can also buy inner tents. The inner tents can either be used inside the 390, or you can fit them in either or of the extension. And that gives you extra sleeping areas if you've got people stopping with you. The other things, the other features we've probably got um, on the awning, in fact, let me just take the camera off here. The other features we got, I use the, um, the camper Sabre lighting, so there's a couple of strips there. The awning does come with the Velcro strips to hang those. You can either hang those there or you can hang them in the middle. So that's the three nine, uh, sorry, that's the Sabre lighting, as you can see there, it runs all the way along. It is remote controlled, um, you can dim it, you can set different lights, all that sort of stuff. So it does add some nice lighting into the awning, helps to keep the awning nice, although the awning light above the door works quite well as well, if you can see that there on the caravan. We've also got this little sort of mosquito light that we use. Um, that's quite useful as well. You can just switch that on either to a normal light, it's just touch, or you can touch the other bit and you've got the blue light on and turns that into a sort of mosquito light. Helps keep rid of the mosquitoes. So let me give you a quick walking tour of the awning. So basically we walk in, this is our first area that we walk in here. Um, we normally use this just to sort of, if it's wet, take coats off, that sort of thing. Uh, we have a couple of chairs set up in here. Sometimes Darcy May and I like to just to sort of sit here, watch the world go by, or they're easy chairs just to sort of grab and put outside. But this is a sort of first little area we have. Then we have our sort of main living area. We've got a cool box down there, the external cool box or the extra cool box, the Halfords, 40 litre cool box, which I've done a separate vlog on. If you look back in the history, you'll find that. And then we have the sort of living area here with our camping chairs. This is where we tend to eat our meals or play games or Darcy May sits and does crafting, that sort of thing. And then the third area, um, we use for storage. Now, we are away for 12 days. We wouldn't normally take both extensions, that sort of thing, but we've got walking boots, buckets and spades. We've got my paddle board, bikes, so all sorts of extra storage in here so that is kind of how we've got it all set up and how we use it the other thing that we've got on here as well and i think i've done a separate review on that is the camper draft skirt the storage skirt with the storage pockets in there and also the draft stopper wheel arch cover find this works really really well not too expensive but does work well and works well with the awning skirt also like some other awning skirts doesn't block your fridge vents um, and behind there which you can't see that and i'll have to do a separate vlog on that is the lock and level so let's give you one quick last view around the awning So it is a big awning and of course we wouldn't use the full awning with both extensions normally for a sort of weekend away or a short break. We keep this normally for our summer holiday, for our main summer holiday, which would normally be in the south of France. Um, so we would kind of have this set up in the south of France, plenty of space. We'd probably have the fronts rolled back, fly screens on, that sort of stuff. Um, we do like our space and we invariably go to France for about three weeks as well. We've not been able to go to France this year, so we've come away to Lou. We're here for 12 days and what I wanted to do 
was really set the full awning up um, because we've not done it before with both the extensions. If you've seen from a previous vlog, I've had the main awning with the left hand extension, but I've never had both extensions up before. It's the third time we've had the 390 up, as you've seen from other vlogs, we invariably just use the canopy. Um, but I do like the 390 um, just as a standalone awning. I like it being the all season. So yeah, we're very, very happy with it. Um, being very, very pleased with it. One of the disadvantages or one of the problems we've found certainly at the moment, and I don't know how well you can see this, is actually setting up these slopes are, or these pitches are quite slopy. Um, not only do they slope front to back, they slope sort of um, from the left corner down towards the right corner. So I've pitched it as well as we can. Um, it's a little bit sort of skew on the side of the van. It kind of slopes down this way, um, but we've got the best we can do. Still worked absolutely fine, but on a level ground, obviously it would look a lot nicer and a lot neater. Just a bit more to add into the vlog regarding the, uh, the camp awning. I know people talk about um, problems they have with leaking awnings, that sort of stuff, and I'm sure they do. Um, but I just want to show you ours. We've had sort of three or four days worth of rain on this now. Um, there's absolutely no leaks inside and you can see how the water is actually balling up and running off. Um, so the waterproofing is taking effect on the awning. But it's rained on and off probably for the last two or three days, some quite heavy downpours at times. And we've had zero leakage on the inside. Um, we've actually had no problems with condensation either. So I just wanted to add that in there. Maybe Camper have improved things and with the newer awnings, because this is a 2020 model. So it might be that these are getting a little bit better, but we've certainly had no issues with it leaking. So that's another one from Caravan Escapades. That's a vlog on our camper 390 all season with left hand and right hand extension. I hope you found that useful. Um, please leave comments below. I'll leave links to all the different bits you've seen for the awning, the extensions, the sabre lights, the, um, the storage skirt, all those sorts of things. So I'll leave links for that below. Uh, but please comment below. Give us some comments about your awnings, what you find your awnings, how you find your awning, whether you find it useful, not useful, that sort of thing. I'm sure for most people, having an awning this size is, is probably beyond their requirements, probably beyond our requirements as well, but we do like to have space when we go away. So thanks very much for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing and sharing, and please, if you tick the bell notification, that will notify you when we upload more videos. So thanks very much. It's another one from Caravan Escapade, and we'll see you on the next one.